Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'll be speaking about grocery shopping here in Toronto. Now, part of my London Toronto series, I went to Loblaws today to do my grocery shopping and normally I go to Metro. However, Metro is on strike at the moment, so I cannot go there. Now, Loblaws, it's so expensive. I've been to No Frills, I've been to Walmart. I mean, everywhere is up in their prices. For convenience, Loblaws is where it's at. Now, I'll be showing you everything I purchased today. Now, I am astonished. I'm so surprised at how much everything came up to my shopping doesn't come up to anything you know um less than 95 dollars now <laughs> gosh let me just show you exactly what i bought okay and knowing that i didn't want to leave the house i also bought myself sunday dinner i didn't feel like cooking self-care is a must and i'm gonna have it i'm gonna spend time on myself today but let me show you guys what i bought okay so everything's laid out on the table as you can see right so that's all i can show you right now um i will show you more <laughs> But I'm going to show you guys with me holding up. So first of all, I've got my mushrooms, I've got my crisps as well. I normally go for barbecue lays, but I thought let me try Loblaws crisps. Surely it doesn't hurt. And I also got the Uncle Ben's rice as well for three for nine dollars. And I haven't got my rice cooker, I haven't got my air fryer, yet. I haven't got my juicer, so. I'm trying to make it everything convenient for me right now. I bought my hummus as well, and I bought tortilla wraps to go with it, but um, I'll show you guys what I've got. So that's hummus, I'm in love with this. This is the roasted garlic. And I also bought the chicken fillets for $12 as well. I have my ketchup, and I normally go for Heinz. Of course, Heinz is best. It was $6.99, and the Love Lords version was only $2.99, so go figure, I'll go for this. And I've also got my sauces. So first of all, I've got my Alfredo sauce. I've got my korma sauce. My curry has got a lot of korma. I've got my various sauce as well for pasta. And I've got my Downing Unstoppables. This is a must. I love this. And also my Tide Pods. Combined smells. Oh, love. It's, it's an undeniable combo. It's just out of this world. It smells lush absolutely lush and there's so many more fragrances but yeah this is what i got for my laundry also got my baby carrots and my pasta got the swiffer as well this swiffer is so good honestly it's better than using like a, a full mop this helps so much when you've got wooden flooring it's just the right liquid to make your floors clean i also bought the dry cloths as well um, a couple of weeks ago to help you know the floors to stay clean also got myself some olives from the um, self olives counter self serving counter which i absolutely love and i've got my spring onions as well love that this is a big shot guys but let me keep going i've got my activia yogurt i've got my um liquid honey i have my brown bread also i got my onions as well gotta have the onions I bought the uh, macaroni salad, cheesy macaroni salad. I normally go for a different one. They didn't have it, so I thought, let me just give this a try. I also got my ground chicken. I normally go for turkey. But again, Lob Laws never had it. There's pros and cons to shopping at different places as well. I also got the, not good for you, but I got the noodles, shrimp flavored. My sister tells me, Kimberly's not good for you, but I got it anyway. Do I listen? No. Will I still listen? No. If you don't hear, you must feel, right? And that's just me <laughs> i also bought some ice it's currently in the freezer because it was melting so let me not even disturb that so ice is there as well i also got my milk i only got a small amount i normally go for lactose free but they didn't have the size i wanted so i thought i'll go for the normal one a little doesn't hurt but i'm trying to wean myself off of milk slowly but surely and also dairy as well look guys hot sauce in your blood the last one left like it was for me clearly for me i love my hot sauce and i've got another sauce which is for my bolognese spaghetti bolognese and no it's not just spaghetti it's spaghetti bolognese it's what we call it in the uk and do you remember i said to you that i don't want to cook i bought my whole self a baked chicken absolutely love this it was only 12 dollars 50. so i'm gonna match this with rice or i might have mashed potato i'm not quite sure yet whatever i feel like to be fair okay last but not least i've got the um salmon atlantic portion jerk this was seven dollars 99 and it's only one salmon this is all i needed really because it's only me right so that's what i'm gonna have and remember i told you i've got the tortillas for my dip which is somewhere but i'll only show you the um, roasted garlic dip now guys 
everything came up to remember i told you it normally comes up to nothing nothing less than 95 dollars i spent 167 dollars 20 plus tax 172 dollars 80. now that is a that is a lot that's the most i spent since i've been here in toronto for my grocery shopping so you tell me would you spend 172 dollars 80 on your grocery shopping or would you go to different stores to try to get different produce and you know different products at different prices or would you just go to one store take the hit and go home you tell me in the comments here it is if you don't believe me it's a little bit wet because obviously it was in a bag but look you can see here okay i don't know if you can see it properly but honestly it's it's there it is there it is there 167 and 170 all right so yeah that's my grocery shopping for Sunday. But thank you so much for joining me in my London to Toronto series. In my next video, I'll be telling you why I moved over to Toronto, what's it like apartment hunting, and so much more in a London to Toronto series. I've been here for three months and counting now, and I'm very much settling in. I'm happy to be here still. I'm absolutely loving my peace, my new life, my new lease of life. I feel free. I feel happy, honestly new version of me there's no more becoming her i am already her i am already me i've already already been me that's it i've already been me it's about upgrading myself and being a different version of myself within who i already am throughout what i've experienced in life so far so yes i can't wait to show you my journey share with you everything i do so until next time in my next video take care bye